All right, welcome to my synth breakdown series where I take some cool synth sounds and try to figure out what makes them the way they are. So today we're looking at Nine Inch Nails' copy of uh, the opening synthesizer. So uh, let's just jump right in. Uh, first things first is change the BPM to 138. Uh, that is the BPM of the song. It's in 4-4, which we're good. Okay, so uh, we're not using the original hardware, obviously, um, but we're going to try to find something similar. Um, so let's just give the original a listen. Um, Alright, so right off the top, it sounds like a sawtooth wave. So I'm going to bring in Ableton 10's wavetable. And I'm bringing this instrument in because it's very versatile, um, but feel free to use whatever works with your DAW or whatever VSTs you have. Okay, so we're getting somewhere. Let me just make this mono as well. All right, now we're gonna make the MIDI loop just so we can hear the proper notation while we're working on the sound. Uh, let's make our loop uh, five sixteenth notes long. We have it on sixteenths there. And the notation itself is D sharp two to uh, C sharp one, and then D sharp one, and then rest, and then another D sharp one. So let's hear that sounds. Great, okay, so that's our notation, but it's a little harsh and crappy. Um, so to start, I'm going to bring the filter just down a bit. It's a little less intense. Um, we're going to bring the sustain down so it's a bit more stabby. And let me just loop this. And we're going to bring the release out so that the rests carries to the next note. Oh, that's a crappy loop. So let's listen to the original again. So the difference between the original and our version, uh, the biggest difference is... So the original has a bit of a wah going on with it. So we're going to enable another uh, ADSR and assign that to our frequency of our filter. So I'm just going to make that. Oh, that loose. No, the uh, frequency. There we go. And let's up the frequency a little bit. Cool. Okay. So that's pretty close. Um, and just for some tonal differences, we're going to add a saturation. Uh, which is kind of just like a little bit of a distortion. Um, see how that sounds. Great, and then just kind of filter that down a little bit. All right, so that's pretty close. I mean, I could now work on this for another hour and try to get the exact tone, but I'll leave that up to you and whatever resources that you're using to recreate the sound on your own machine. Um, now one cool thing I want to add to this before we end the video is um, uh, during the live tours, especially the 2013 Tension Tour, he uh, would play around with the resonance and frequency just to open up the, the set. Um, so I'm going to assign those to my MIDI controller here. Um, and you can see how cool it sounds. There we go. Great. Okay, I think that's a pretty satisfying result. Um, and again, I'm not going to make this identical. Uh, that's not the point of this. It's just a find what, what makes these sounds the way they are. Um, not This is not a, a, a series that tries to recreate sounds precisely. Just want to kind of break them down and, and unearth what they're made of. And it's pretty interesting, I think. So um, if you enjoyed that, yeah, please leave a like, uh, subscribe, and there's going to be many more of these, and I will take suggestions. Please send them in the comments or message me, whatever it takes. Um, I would love to just explore the world of synthesis and try to figure out what what makes the the world around us hum the way it is thanks for watching bye